Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer. Today I'm going to show you how to take notes and write papers with voice typing in Google Docs. So keep watching. If you would like to rapidly take detailed notes without typing anything, or you'd like to cut your research paper drafting time in half or more, or you're just here to learn voice typing in Google Docs on mobile or desktop. So let's go. The basics. What is voice typing? And I'm gonna show you that in a second, but I'm gonna tell you how to do it right now. So tools and then voice typing, click the mic. That's all you gotta do. The shortcut is control shift S. On a Mac, that's command shift S. And here's what it looks like. All right, so tools, voice typing. There's the microphone. Once I click the microphone, Google Docs is writing everything that I say, period. Isn't that neat? Question mark. Control Shift S stops it from recording. I was talking slowly just so you could see and hear, but it captures your voice almost no matter how quickly you talk. Works very well. Um, I can turn this off here. Control Shift S will start it again. The voice mic is activated and capturing everything that I'm saying. Isn't that awesome? Exclamation point. There you go. All right. Back to the words on the page. So how does this super boost my note taking ability, Josh? And that's a great question. Uh, what I would say to you is the average person types 40 to 60 words per minute. The average person speaks at 125 to 150 words per minute. So taking the two extremes, if you voice type your notes at 150 words per minute, you're gonna beat the hand jamming of words uh, on a keyboard or in a notebook at about 40 words per minute, uh, and you win to the tune of about plus 90 words per minute. So you can do all this on your desktop in Google Docs. That is absolutely something you can do. You just saw me do it. However, uh, who wants to sit at their desk reading and taking notes? Zero feng shui going on there. Uh, this is how I imagine reading and taking notes. This is where thoughts happen for me. Uh, this is not where I imagine sitting and taking notes and having lots of great thoughts happen. This, yes. This, no. All right, so how do we get in the position where we can sit in a comfortable comfortable chair uh, and take notes. We're gonna do that voice typing notes on our phone. Uh, imagine yourself seated comfortably you're reading by a rich warm hearth at like the one I just showed you uh, or whatever's comfortable for you certainly uh, instead of that sterile computer. So taking notes in a Google Doc comfortably using your phone. We're gonna jump into that right now. Voice typing on your phone. So what you need is your phone, Google Docs, and here we go. Oh, here's my book. I am reading an excellent story right now, and I want to capture word for word exactly what that story is saying, exclamation point. What do you think, question mark? I think, comma, that this is awesome, exclamation point. As you can see, uh, voice typing on your phone is super easy, uh, super slick, and allows you to move away from your computer and grab a comfortable reading position. What else is great about taking notes with your voice on your phone? Two things. So beyond the fact that you can take very detailed notes, of course, while you're typing, if an idea comes into your head, something you're reading, let me take that back. So while you're reading, uh, you have an idea, hey, this, I've got this research paper and I've got three arguments. And this thing that I'm reading right now coincides with argument number one in my research paper. So while I'm capturing those notes in my phone, I can leave myself verbal or they're gonna become written, of course, bookmarks. So for example, this note that I took is very important and I should make sure that I can reference it later, period, ARG1, period. All right, this ARG1 could become shorthand for argument one. And then I would leave argument one, two, and three throughout my notes if I have ideas that coincide with those arguments. And then later on, using control F, I can move myself to those arguments. That might look like, that might look something like this. 
Uh, so this is my annotated bibliography from a paper I did in my international uh, security class. And control F, uh, argument one, you can see I already typed it in there. Uh, I've got six or nine opportunities to uh, see what I thought earlier might be good for me to put in my paper. And I can just move through uh, a very large, as so you can see, this is a 205, 205 page document, but I can very rapidly move to those ideas that I had uh, that, that passed Josh uh, to kind of teed up for future Josh when he's writing his paper. So those verbal and then written bookmarks and the ability to control F get you right to those notes that you took that you wanted your future self to use when writing that paper. You've just teed it all up for yourself is essentially what you've done. All right. Hopefully that was a great demo. Uh, how does voice typing a paper on my computer super boost my paper drafting ability? Well, often just getting words on the paper quicker makes the writing process easier for a number of reasons. First, editing already written ideas is way easier than creating them from thin air. Second, our brains think much faster than we can type by about 700 words a minute. Uh, voice typing allows us to get our thoughts out much quicker. Essentially, voice typing gets our hands out of our brain's way. What do I mean by getting our hands out of our brain's way? So when you're writing a first draft, how often do you catch yourself trying to write a final draft? You know what I mean? Um, as you're typing, you find yourself rewriting the same sentence over and over again, trying to get it perfect on the first take. Often, the perfect sentence becomes the arch enemy of a finished sentence. The first draft is supposed to be terrible, and that's why it's called a draft. Sometimes we forget this. So seeking immediate perfection creates a friction in our fingertips, a friction that blocks the idea from exiting our brain. This friction makes the writing process really slow and can often kill the idea. You know, you're trying to get the words on paper, but you're trying to get them perfect. And as the thoughts go in and the words are slowing down the thoughts, the thoughts just stop and you lose it. So, gone by the time we type it. Voice typing removes all this friction. With voice typing, we can edit as we go. Actually, we can't edit as we go, so we just go. The words are just coming out of our head. Just go. <laughs> Sorry, I uh, had fun with that one. Uh, speaking your first draft into existence takes the idea from your brain and blasts it onto your Google Doc with zero friction. The idea is here, and seconds later, it's here. Voice typing takes all your ideas and throws them onto the page, kind of like a Jackson Pollock painting. Uh, sure, your rough draft might be messy, but it's done. Voice typing stops perfection from becoming the enemy of done. How does voice typing notes on my phone or my desktop super boost my research paper drafting ability? Primarily just by making note taking much quicker. Uh, 40 words per minute versus 150 words per minute. Uh, however, when you summarize your reading takeaways out loud, now you're adding an auditory learning and idea seeding component to your reading. All of this increases what I like to call idea fodder uh, critical to, to developing your paper ideas. Finally, those verbal bookmarks that I talked about earlier in Control F make for a super fast find it later system. How often or how many times have you taken notes only to not be able to find that note when you're writing the paper? You know there's something out there that, that has to do with what you're writing, but you just can't find it. This solves that problem. All right, in summary, these combined techniques Voice typing the first draft of a paper, voice typing your research notes will absolutely super boost your paper writing ability. Prove it, Josh. Okay. <laughs> um, I did use this method, this method during my master's program at the Naval War College. Uh, it did just work. Uh, my grades, ask me after June 16th and I will let you know how it worked out for me. Uh, and by the way, this video is for a friend just starting the Army War College, the Army War College. And uh, Joe, anyone else watching, uh, I hope any of these techniques are as helpful to you as they were to me. Uh, would you like some more? This video brought a little bit of the know-how and hopefully not too much of the know-why. 
Uh, check out my other videos to get more of both. Helpful? Please like, subscribe, share this with somebody else that could use it. And remember, you can get at me and this outline in the notes section down below. And please leave questions because as always, if you do that, I will leave answers.